Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacey. If it's your first time joining me here, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I like to do on this channel. I prefer a much more natural and realistic aesthetic when it comes to makeup. I also do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT on my Instagram. So if you want to ask me some questions and hang up there, I'll leave my handle for you here and please feel free to come along. So today's makeup was inspired by this. I was like racking my brain about what to do for this week's video, feeling a little bit uninspired if I'm being really honest, and I was just like, oh, I don't know what to do. And I picked up and I was like, oh, at the moment, not even, I don't even know when it happened, but I just really like pink. I've never done a full face of pink, so I thought, well, that's gonna be today's video. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Firstly, we're gonna start with brows. I'm using my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Brow Gel just to hold the bad boys in place. So first Struggalina and then someone suggested the name Angelina because it's an angel of a brow. What do you guys think? Is that a worthy name? I kind of like it. And brush up the good brow. I've already put the MAC Prep and Prime Lip on my lip. Um, it needs to become a bit tacky before it's ready to use. So I did that first off camera. Now we're gonna go into skin and I am using my Cover FX Power Play Foundation, which I love. You can tell I love it because I use it in almost every video. In G110. So I'm just gonna buff that over my cheeks. And then for my jawline where I'm a little bit darker, I am taking the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in number nine, which is a redder and much warmer brown. And I'm just going to buff that into my skin. Let you into a secret. I have prolonged shooting this week's video for another reason because I have this awful rash. I don't know if you can see it, if it shows up on camera, but I have this horrible little rash on my chin. And I was trying to give it time to clear up. I did all these face masks and stuff and it's still there. So I just thought I'm just going to film anyway. Everyone has bad skin days, right? NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. And just blend that out. I'm not going to cut it in, I just want to brighten my brow bone. Now the colour. So I'm going to go in with this Sephora Creamy Lip Stain. This is a lip product and I'm going to use this on my eyelids as a base for my shadows today. I might layer this up a little bit actually because it's shearing out quite a lot as I blend it. I don't think this is number eight. I think this is the number six. I'll double check for you guys and leave it in the description box. I always get them confused because they're really similar. They're really similar in colour. Amanda would not go to sleep today. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this video out at all. I tried to put him to bed and then he was like, Mama, I'm hungry. Gave him his lunch, let him play for a little bit and then he still wanted to be up. I was like, dude. Mummy's got stuff to do, you need to go to bed. So um, now that the seasons are changing, it's not as bright in the mornings anymore. So I can't really get away with filming at six o'clock like I used to, which means I have to revert to my old system of doing my tutorials when he has his nap. It's always a bit risky because he can always wake up. So far, so good. I'm trying to whiz through this so that I don't have to deal with him being awake and trying to do this because that is really difficult. Hmm, pretty. I like this. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush. I've got this palette from And Other Stories and it's called Taupe Cherie. And if I can remember correctly, 91 to 98% of the ingredients of this palette are naturally derived. They're natural ingredients. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool because like eco makeup doesn't really get you know, a great reputation. People always think that like the pigments are gonna be really wishy-washy and it doesn't last long. So I thought I'd give this a go. I'm using this, that color there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. Okay, and just pat that on top of the pink. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to have such a I pay off. Hmm. I'm just blending the edge now. Then I am taking Sketch Eyeshadow from MAC. 
and I'm just going to work that in the crease. It's coming up very purple and I don't know why. It's usually a bit more red than this but it's fine, this works too. I'm going to take a tiny bit of Fleur Power blusher and just go over this a little bit to soften it and to try and bring the pink back because it's become really purple. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Mm -hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm going to take some, should I use Embark instead? Yeah, I'm going to mix a tiny bit of Embark just on the corners here just to create a tiny bit more definition. Then I'm taking Nightingale Lip Pencil. And I'm using it as, a, as an eyeliner. Guess who's woken up? Right, I have to go and be a mum for a while. I'll be back. Okay, he's back to bed. I don't know how long for, so let's quickly press on with this. I'm going to take a little smudgy brush and just smudge that out. Should I carry it on the top as well? Why not? Ooh. I like that. This is so unusual for me because I don't really wear a lot of colour. I might wear like a bright lip or something but <laughs> Never like this. This is really fun though. How much pink can I wear? How much pink can I wear before I start to look crazy? That's the question of the day. Okay, so then I'm going to take this champagne colour here and just use that as a highlight. But where? Where are you going to use it? I think. Let's go for inner corner. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I might just do a little centre of the lid highlight too. Just a disclaimer before anyone comes to me in the comments. If you have uh, sensitive eyes, don't do this. This is a lip product. It has not been tested for use around the eyes or in the eyes. Oh yeah, I like that. But I don't have sensitive eyes, so I can kind of get away with doing weird things like this. This is just a fun makeup. I don't know if anyone would actually wear this, but I just want to have some fun. Line the lips, line the lips with Nightingale lip pencil as well. And I like to fill in pretty much the whole of my lip. Then I'm going in with my Vibrant Vi <laughs> Then I'm going in with my Vibrant Violet lipstick from uh, Bobbi Brown. This is the Lux Matte Collection. My memory card was full and I just looked down at my laptop and it told me that it had automatically stopped recording. I don't know when that happened. I'm hoping it wasn't much, but I was just saying that um, I look a little bit crazy because I don't have any mascara or eyebrows on. So I'm gonna go back and fill those in. I'm reverting back to Spike's brow pencil, but this is the old one, not the new ones that they have in store with the spoolie on the end. I prefer this to the new one. So I'm just gonna gently fill in my brows. Not too much and not too long. Now for mascara, I think, oh, <laughs> oh goodness, it's just one, this is a bit of a weird video, I'm in a bit of a funny, like there's a funny vibe today, and everything is trying to test me, so I couldn't find the battery, because Amanda threw that somewhere in the flat, then my memory card um, was full, and stopped recording, and then I've got liquid lipstick on my cheeks that I was just about to blend when I realised it had stopped recording, that I haven't blended out, so... Let's see what happens. No, of course. Of course it's not going to move. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It takes a bit more work. So let's just finish that. I was just like, I'm not going to be defeated today. I don't care if I'm in a funky mood and everything's going wrong. I'm still going to do this video this week. So. I am not going to quit. Right. Sort that out. Much better, much better. Yes. I actually really like it, it's a lot of pink, but I don't know, I feel like 
it could be a thing. I'm going to go on to my mascara now. So if anybody is new, and sorry for all my OGs, but I always use two mascaras. And I use the MAC Extended Play as um, a lash primer, and then I go over it with an extreme dimension. For me, that is the best mascara combo. I love it. I think a look like this needs a lot of mascara for it to make sense. I'm not sure if the lips need a lip pencil with this. Should I give it a go? Let's give it a go. Right, let's, where's my lip pencil? I'm gonna use a tiny bit of Cyberworld. Yeah, I think that's nicer. I'm gonna go back to Fleur Power and just add a bit more pink under the lash line. But, I've just done my mascara, so basically decide on how much you want underneath before you do your mascara. Don't do what I'm doing. I have to look upwards now and just blend in a bit more pink because when I put my mascara on, it's hidden quite a lot of it, so I have to carry it down. Now I'm going to set everything. I'm taking my Cover FX. This is the Perfect Setting Powder. Is that right? Yeah. In Translucent Deep. And I'm going to go for the sides of the nose. This is a little hot spot of mine. Yeah, that looks good. Definitely need to take down the forehead shine. So that is on another level today. Get rid of the nose shine. Actually, I kind of liked it here, so I'm going to just lift some of the powder there. I don't know what this rash is on my chin. I don't know if you can see it, but I have this really weird rash here and here. I never get things like this. It's so bizarre. I don't know if it's because um, I was just eating a lot of questionable food when I was on set. So just when you're so tired that you just get really snacky and just eat whatever's there. And I think that may have contributed to what's going on in my face. Do I need contour? I think yes with this makeup, yes. So, I'm gonna go back to Sketch. And I'm putting it on my foundation brush. And I'm gonna work it into the palm of my hand so it's not patchy when it goes on. And I'm literally just going to, yeah, sculpt out my cheekbone a tiny bit. Not too much. And don't be heavy handed with this eyeshadow because it could, it could start looking a bit drag queen really quick. And a little bit on my jawline here. So guys, there you have it. This is the final look from today's video, inspired by pink, if you cannot tell. Um, I don't know if there would ever be an occasion that I would need to wear this much pink to. It, this was literally just me indulging myself because I was really stuck with an idea of what to do and it's tough like doing YouTube is tough and sometimes you can get really concerned and caught up with like what people are going to watch and as much as you know that may be important I really want to have fun whilst I'm doing this I don't ever want it to feel like a chore so I just thought today I'm just going to do something fun if you learn something from it that is awesome that's the main reason why I'm here but I need to make sure that I stay sane whilst doing this because doing YouTube is a lot of work um so yes I think I'm going to stop rambling there <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to say I'm rather impressed with this little palette. I wasn't expecting the colours to be as vibrant as they were, but this is a good one. So if you're into more eco, natural kind of makeup, check one out. Thank you so much for watching. If you are subscribed already, um, thank you. Please hit the notification bell. And if you aren't subscribed, come along. I think it could be fun. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.